so just got this in. Um, it's my first PRLS knockoff um, PRS guitar. I did not put um, uh, you know their logo on it. I just didn't think I wanted to do that. So oh, let me show you the box. This is uh, the first one I'm doing of these. I've been watching several online and stuff. Pretty cool, kind of exciting. I did my own logo and stuff, but this was crazy. I ordered this May 3rd, and it came in, or they said they shipped it on the 23rd, and then it came on the 27th. So there's no real damage to the box. Everything looks good and normal. So let's open this thing up. I've actually had it for a couple days, but I've been on call, so I had to... Wasn't able to get to it. So let's see what we got here. They set pictures and it just looks great. So if it's anything you'd like the pictures, it's going to be very nice. Well, I didn't want a case. I heard a lot of people say the case is just not worth it, you know. So I got it all taped in there real good. So hopefully everything is good. So let me cut that open. See what we got. And I did, I'm going to have them do a, um, that little cover there. I totally forgot about that, but I wanted it wood and painted the same color as the guitar. And she already said she's going to do that. Oh, goodness. So I tried to catch her, but, I mean, I said ship it, and she read it, and she shipped it right then. There's really no, I thought of it right after, but anyway, all right. So let me get that thing out of there. Get some better pictures. Or get it better on video, I should say. the lighting's good enough in here. I don't do too many videos here, so I know lighting can be an issue. So there's the headstock. I was going to change the inlays, but I ended up just telling them to leave it. I didn't, I didn't want to get too into it in case they made a mistake on it or something so I just didn't want to change too much I definitely didn't want the the um, 
you know, the copyright infringed logo on it. I wasn't doing that, but that's just, you know, my take on it. I didn't want to do that. I did get the binding. I don't know if, how well you can see on the video, but the normal guitar came with like a white binding, but the guitar or the neck was white binding and the guitar had the wood binding so it was 15 bucks more for that and I did put my own stuff on the back as well serial number and again I didn't want the you know made in America lie so I just didn't do that. that's just my Preference. Okay, no scarf joint at all. Let's see, that light's kind of in the way there. Let's see if we've got, you can see the wood grain through it real nice. And I do not, I don't know, I don't really see a neck joint. It looks darker at one point. But I do not see a neck joint on that at all. I did the string through uh, design, which I kind of wanted. I will probably be changing the pickups. It totally depends. I really um, play a lot more drums these days than I do guitar. I've never been a a guitar player like most of you guys. I'm a strummer. I play a little bit and I love it, but certainly not uh, a real guitar player, you might say. Just play around strumming on it. But this thing, from what I can see, looks really nice. So I'm going to tune this thing up. Yeah, it looks like the, well, I'm not, I'm going to have to lower. These pickups look like they're just not in right. So, yeah, I'm going to have to look at that because that pickup is just sticking up too high. This screw's sticking out. Wow, that's, that's not good. So, hopefully, that's just an adjustment thing. Okay, and also in the box here, they gave me these knobs here. I don't know how well you can see that, which I kind of like. Let's set it over here. Yeah, birds. Yeah, I'm recording. So there's the knobs. I don't know which one. I kind of do like the bigger size. I think they're called the speed knobs, but anyway, I don't know. I'm an amateur. All right. So anyway, there it is. It looks freaking awesome. So there you have it. Later.